Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 4th of June 1855, USS Supply departed New York City for the Mediterranean to obtain camels for the short lived United States Camel Corps. The idea of using camels as pack animals in the southwestern United States was first proposed by Lieutenant George Crossman in 1836, but didn't gain traction until the following decade when Major Henry Wayne took up the idea after fighting in the desert during the Mexican-American War. Having submitted a report to the War Department and Congress, he secured an ally in Senator Jefferson Davis of Mississippi, who was appointed Secretary of War by President Franklin Pierce in 1853. Two years later, Congress appropriated $30,000 for purchasing and transporting camels to the United States. USS Supply, under the command of Lieutenant David Dixon Porter, was specially modified for its unusual cargo. A stable area with separate stalls was constructed on the spar deck, while hatches were cut both to accommodate the camels and help to circulate fresh air. Meanwhile, a camel car and special hoists and slings were installed to load and unload the animals, as well as secure them in rough weather. Having been loaded with 33 camels, 19 females and 14 males, the ship began its return voyage on the 15th of February 1856. The journey lasted for almost three months, and despite the death of one of the male camels, the birth of some calves meant that 34 healthy camels were unloaded at Indianola in Texas. The camels proved themselves to be both fast and strong, easily outperforming the horses and mules that the army had used up until that point. Nevertheless, the onset of the American Civil War saw the experiment grind to a halt, and the camels were later sold at auction. Music